In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to create an object. All right, so this is a JSON object that we created with the initialized variable action. We discussed about primitive data types and then complex data types as well. We parsed that object with the parse JSON action and we got the outputs. And then we took something from here. We took the years active using the compose action. Right, so we referenced the dynamic value, the years active dynamic value in the compose action. Now I'm going to show you how you can tap into the object directly without using parse JSON, without using dynamic values. So let me show you that. We'll go in edit mode and delete the compose action. Delete the parse JSON because we don't need this. And let's take a look at the object. So we want to first take the first name. Okay. How do we do that? Well, let me show you. Create a new step. And I'm going to use compose. The compose action is best when testing out new things. Okay. So I know that my object looks like this, right? So I know that first name is a property of the main object. Of course, I have another object nested inside the original object, or I should say the main object. So this is the nested object inside the main object. So I can also tap into this as well, but we will get to that in a few minutes. So let's take the first name uh, property. Let's get that first. So to get the first name property, we go to expressions. We pick the object. So the object is in here in this variable. And then we simply type dot first name. And that's it. And we can test. Run. Done. We got the first name. Okay. Let's try to get the first name in a different way. We can also take it with a question mark, square bracket, single quote, name of the property, first name. All right. This also works. So let's test this out. Test, save and test. Run flow. Done. It works. All right. So how can we tap into another object that's nested in the main object? Let me show you that. I know that the object name is job and I want to take uh, the employer. Okay. So it's very simple. If we use the first method, the one with the dots, just going to type job and then dot employer. So I'm looking in this object. Sorry about that. I'm looking in this object. I'm taking the job object from inside the main object. And then I'm looking at the employer property. Okay. Inside the job nested object. Test, save and test. Run. There you go. Okay. Now, how do we get 2019 from years active, from the years active array? 2019, remember, is on the third position in this array. Okay. So this is an enumeration, right? One, two, three, four. However, 
the first position in the array starts with zero. So this would be position zero, position one, position two, and position three, okay? So remember that this is like an index, right? So index zero, index one, index two, and index three inside the years active array uh, property, okay? So this is the years active property inside the job object. Job object starts from here and ends here. Okay, so let's do that. How do we do that? Again, bar JSON job years active square bracket two. Okay, because we want to take, let me click here, we want to take 2019, zero, one, two. Let's take a look again, two, okay? Job, years active, inside years active, look at index number two. All right, let's test. Run flow, done. 2019, all right? So that's how you can tap into an object and you can take whatever you want from there. If, if you want to use the other method, right? So let me remove this. The other method would be like this. Question mark, right? Job, again, question mark. Years active. This is not case sensitive, by the way. This is where you put the name of the property. So it can be, it's not case sensitive. And then you don't have to add a question mark anymore. You just put two in here. So this would be the index, right? Of this, uh, of this array, okay? That, the, that we want to take the value that sits under this index. So job, years active, two. Okay, test again. There you go. That's how you tap into a JSON object using expressions. I hope you found this uh, useful. If you have any ideas for tutorials or anything like that, just uh, leave a comment. Thank you.